teaching to you all today in this park. Today we are going to be reading The Stinky Cheese Man and the other fairly stupid tales. We are going to skip only to The Stinky Cheese Man story today, but you are more than welcome to buy this book and read the rest of it on your own. The back does say, what is this doing here? This is ugly. Who is this ISBN guy? Who will buy this book anyway? Over 50 pages of nonsense and I'm only in three of them. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, I really recommend this book. You're more than welcome to read it on your own. We're gonna skip to the Stinky Cheese Man story, which is gonna be kind of in the back of the book. This story isn't like many others. It doesn't have like a happy ending. You'll see in Judge Sasek with what I mean. So, again, this is called The Stinky Cheese Man. Once upon a time, there was a little old woman and a little old man who lived together in a little old house. They were lonely, so the little old lady decided to make a man out of stinky cheese. She gave him a piece of bacon for a mouth and two olives for eyes and put him in the oven to cook. How cute! Ah! When she opened up the oven to see if he was done, the smell knocked her back. Phew! What is that terrible smell? She cried. The stinky cheese man hopped out of the oven and ran out the door calling, Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the stinky cheese man. The little old lady and the little old man sniffed the air. I'm not really hungry, said the little old man. I'm not really all that lonely, said the little old lady. So they didn't chase the stinky cheese man. The stinky cheese man ran and ran until he met a cow eating grass in a field. Wow, what's that all? smell said the cow the stinky cheese man said i've run away from a little old lady and a little old man and i can run away from you too i can run 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 as fast as you can you can't catch me i'm the stinky cheese man the cow gave another sniff and said i'll bet you could give someone two or three stomach aches i'll just eat the weeds so the cow didn't chase the stinky cheese man either. The stinky cheese man ran and ran and saw some kids playing outside the school. Gross, said a little girl. What's that nasty smell? I've run away from a little old lady and a little old man. I can run away from you too, I can. You can't catch me. I'm the stinky cheese man. A little boy looked up, sniffed the air and said, if we catch him, our teacher will probably make us eat him. Let's get out of here. So the kids didn't chase the stinky cheese man either. By and by, the stinky cheese man came to a river with no bridge. How will I ever cross this river? It's too big to jump and if I try to swim, I'll probably fall apart, said you know who. Just then, the sly fox, who shows up in a lot of stories like these, poked his head out of the bushes. Why? Just hop on my back and I'll carry you across, stinky cheese man. How do I know you won't eat me? Trust me, said the fox. So the stinky cheese man hopped on the fox's back. The fox swam to the middle of the river and said, Oh man, what is that funky smell? The fox coughed and gagged and sneezed and the stinky cheese man flew off his back and into the river where he fell apart. The end. Anyways, y'all, this is a great and fun book to read if you want to just have a good laugh. There are a lot of other stories in here other than the Stinky Cheese Man, and I highly recommend it, especially as a fun summer read. Anyways, y'all, I miss you so, 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 so much, and I hope you have a great rest of your summer. This is kind of our last lesson for reading. I know, I miss y'all, super sad, but I can't wait to see y'all in the future. Come visit me next year and have a blast in middle school if I don't see you by then. 
I wish I could give you a more formal goodbye, and we might get to do that for graduation. We'll let you know. But again, I miss you all so much, and I hope you have a great rest of your summer. Come visit me. Have a great time middle school. Okay, that's it. Miss Seifert is out. lesson. <laughs> Miss Seifert, don't freak out, but there's a Demogorgon right above you. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, thank you. Where should we go? There's Demogorgons everywhere. Sign clap, sign clap. You got all the muscles. You need to guard the door, dude. All right, guys, let's get going. Also, this book is kind of special to me. Shout out to my student teaching experience because my kiddos gave me this book and they all wrote their names in here. Okay, 